Hello viewers, hope you are fine. Welcome again to JS and RS Solution YouTube channel. In this video, you will get to know how you can download Earthquake data from US JS website for any location of the world. You will get this data with free of cost. I hope you will like this informative video. So let's get started. Go to search box and write US JS Earthquake catalog and click on this link after that you will get this interface of earthquake catalog and you will see here some options like uh, magnitude so you can select manually or uh, you can select uh, here that you can see 2.5 plus or 4.5 plus so i'm selecting uh, custom and uh, and dry and i'm writing five for uh, magnitude for earthquake magnitude and date and time i i need uh, data from 1960 to 2022 i mean till the date so we can select custom or uh, select uh, past seven days and for geographic location you can select by custom uh, search box or for all so you can see here i'm selecting this region that i want uh, to download data from this uh, region that means i need the earthquake data uh, for uh, this region for this area so after that uh, click use this region and you can see uh, here also two more options uh, like advanced options uh, you can see here geographic region uh, north or east or west and south and here output options and also here you can see event type you can see here several types of events and impact significance catalog so many options product type and output options uh, we can download a uh, map and list uh, or csv file camel file several types of file uh, i'm selecting csv file and data order by uh, time oldest to uh, first i mean oldest to new data and you can also select limit results from here and after selecting all the uh, um, required data set or required options uh, click on search and the download has been started automatically and uh, here is my data the downloaded data you can see here time that i have selected 1960 to 2022 data from this date range and here latitude and longitude depth magnitude i don't uh, need this uh, column so i'm deleting this and here uh, this column also i don't need so i'm deleting the unnecessary columns from uh, the excel sheet type earthquake uh, place uh, magnitude you can see here the magnitude of uh, earthquake and the place where the earthquake has been uh, originated the distance uh, from the location I have saved the data and uh, open arc map i'm adding the data add data add xy data and here uh, choose a table from the map or browse for another table i'm adding the downloaded uh, data uh, into the arc map 
and x field will be longitude and y field will be latitude and z field i'm um, selecting uh, magnitude so coordinate system of uh, input coordinates uh, i'm selecting geographic coordinate systems here in geographic coordinate system you will uh, find wgs 984 so i'm i have selected this coordinate system and then okay and you can see over here um, our uh, earthquake data has been uh, displayed in the arc map option and uh, as uh, it is in the csv format so i'm i'm going to uh, i'm going to convert it uh, in shape file anyway uh, i can see here uh, as table up and the table and i'm going to convert it into shape file export data and then select the uh, output folder where you want to save and i'm going to uh, rename uh, earthquake data i've created this folder and i will uh, save the shape file into this folder select save as type will be shape file and then okay and okay so i'm deleting this file as i don't need this on again so here you can see uh, the earthquake shape file that i have created from the csv file format you can see here place you can see here magnitude and so on and if i want to uh, display this data into base base map i add base map and you can see here the uh, earthquake uh, history of this uh, region the point symbol here are uh, depicting each earthquake that had been created in this particular location you will find the detail in the excel sheet like year of incidence depth magnitude place of occurrence and so on you may create graph using uh, excel also to show the location of occurrence for this large number of data you may visualize it in a map i hope this tutorial will help you a lot um, thank you for watching this video and thanks a lot for being with us um, whatever you learn learn it with passion and stay safe and stay happy